Hey, it's Cole Kirkpatrick with Gnarly Roots, and in this video, I'm going to share my GoPro footage from the second test of the 2021 Red Canyon Enduro. Racing dirt bikes, baby! <laughs> The opening round of the T-Sec Enduro Series took place yesterday at the Parks Ranch in Fluvanna, Texas. It was co-sanctioned with a Blackjack Enduro Circuit and there were over 500 riders signed up. Race conditions were really, really good. It had rained a bunch the last few weeks in that area, but unfortunately the wind blew about 50 miles an hour on Saturday and everything was, was dried out on race day but uh, the club did a really good job laying out everything. The marking was good, really cool tests. They didn't do the famous Chuck Norris section this year. Uh, I think they're probably just letting it rest a little bit as it gets rutted with a lot of rain. It was really cool to see there's a, a whole new crop of young AA riders that are racing and the scores were really tight all day long. I was riding my 2020 KTM 250 SX. I'm doing the Hare and Hound this coming weekend, so it was, it was a last little shakedown. I had some, some bike adjustments that I had made that I wanted to try out in a race scenario. I talk a little bit about it at the end, but if you don't want to watch all 36 minutes of the special test, basically I, I changed gearing up a little bit, went back to the stock gearing, which was a 49 on the rear, and I'd been running a 50, but I found that in a lot of situations I was shifting a ton and kind of just in between second and third. So. Race with a 49, I liked it a good bit. There were still some places where, you know, part of it might have been fatigue setting in and just not carrying good speed, but there were a couple places where I felt like I was having to, to clutch a lot in third. But other than that, the bike worked really good, made a few suspension adjustments and getting dialed in. Russ is coming in this week for the Heron Hound and we're gonna shoot a bunch next week. So look for more stuff on our channel soon. We'll be posting a lot of how-to videos, riding tips, that sort of thing. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and a big thanks goes out to the Permian Basin Motorcycle Association for all the work and hours they put in at the Red Canyon Enduro. Yeah. <laughs>
test coming up later on but I'm not gonna wear the GoPro because it, it bothered my neck after a little while trying out some different gearing on the uh, 250 SX today I've been running a 52 
and the gears were really short. I was having a hard time in second, so today I got a 49. It smoothed out the power some. I'm running a uh, Steely flywheel weight. And uh, I got the red power valve spring in, but I'm gonna put the stock yellow one in once I get back to the truck, just because it's pretty dry slick today. Not pretty dry slick, it's dry slick today, so. Uh, yellow power valve spring will make the bike hook up a little bit better in the slick condition. If you're looking to get into riding Enduros or just try one for the first time, go to tscec.org or Texas or TSCEC Enduro on Facebook for updates. It's a really good way to get into trail riding. You get to ride some really cool locations in Texas and you don't have to race. You can sign up on a row further back and just go at your own pace and not even worry about the scores or if you, you're competitive and want to see how you stack up in the different classes you you can do that so it's a great way to get to ride at some really cool ranches and properties in the state that otherwise you wouldn't have the opportunity to unless you were a member of a club so i highly check it out i've been racing the texas enduro since 2002 and still hate missing them because they're they're so much fun it's just a great way to get a lot of seat time and hang out with friends you get to race ride a section then rest then ride a section and then rest and so a really cool way to spend a day on two wheels thanks for watching the video